Ethereum's slow transaction times and often ridiculously high fees, along with Solana's network outages, have brought lots of people over to the cosmos. The cosmos ecosystem is often referred to as the internet of blockchains, connected to each other seamlessly through the IBC protocol. And the fast, secure, trustless bridging of the IBC protocol is making its way outside the cosmos and now connects Polkadot and Solana and other ecosystems are absolutely on the way. The first IBC-enabled blockchain, the original Genesis blockchain in the cosmos, is the Cosmos Hub with the Atom token that underpins it all, and staking the Atom token helps to keep the cosmos safe. If you've been around crypto for a while, you probably saw the FTX and the Celsius collapse and the other centralized providers, and so you know that staking your tokens with a centralized provider seems safe, but does have a bunch of extra risk, including insolvency and liquidity risk, and they generally charge really high commissions. And we have an article on our blog titled, Why You Should Not Stake with Coinbase, and we will leave a link to that article below in the description, we encourage you to check it out. If you're watching this tutorial before removing your tokens from the exchange, just to see how difficult it might be, we have a great article on our blog that details self-custody that will make you feel a whole lot more confident about removing your tokens from the exchange and taking self-custody in a non-custodial wallet. Calling them wallets is confusing because the tokens don't live in your wallet. They live on the blockchain. They never leave the blockchain. Your wallet holds the keys that allow you to unlock your tokens and move them from one address to another or one place to another on the blockchain. So wallets really would more appropriately be called keychains or key rings. There are web wallets, desktop wallets, software wallets, hardware wallets. It can get confusing, but we always recommend using a hardware wallet like the Ledger Nano, which stores your keys offline and makes it much more difficult to get hacked and to have your funds stolen. In addition to the added security, what's cool about the Ledger is that you can connect via USB on your laptop or via Bluetooth on your phone to any blockchain native wallet. So you can connect to MetaMask for Ethereum or now Kepler for Ethereum. You can connect to Phantom or Soulflare for Solana and to Cosmos Station Kepler or Leap Wallet for the Cosmos ecosystem. What that means is that you would use any of those blockchain native wallets as your user interface, but you would still need to press the physical buttons on the Ledger USB device in your hand in order to approve transactions and move funds. One of the great things about staking Atom tokens from a non-custodial and specifically Cosmos native wallet are the airdrops. So before we go any further, if you haven't already registered for our free airdrop email, uh, you can do so at blocksunited.com slash cosmos dash airdrops. We update the list regularly to include project details, token symbol, who's eligible, snapshot dates with links to how to claim and how to stake those tokens. So today we're going to show you how to stake Atom tokens using the Kepler browser extension. And if you haven't already downloaded the Kepler browser extension, make sure to navigate to their website, which is kepler.app, instead of just searching for Kepler in the iOS App Store or in the Google Play Store because scammers can get their fake wallets into the App and Play Store and you don't want to get scammed and have your tokens stolen. So here is our official validator page on MintScan, which you can find by going to mintscan.io slash cosmos and then click the validators tab and you can scroll down the list to find us or there's a search box up top where you can type in Blocks United and you can learn more about us there. And of course, you can always go to our website, blocksunited.com. So go ahead and open the Kepler extension by clicking on the little icon up there in your browser toolbar. After the wallet window pops up, click Manage Portfolio in Kepler Dashboard to open the wallet up in a new tab. You can search for various Cosmos ecosystem chains on the left panel, but you'll notice that the Cosmos Hub is the first chain listed. So go ahead and click on Cosmos Hub. On the next screen, you'll see your available balance. And then to the right of that, there's a button that says stake. So go ahead and click stake. The active validators screen will pop up 
And wallet providers sometimes do a disservice to the networks that they allow you to access, and Kepler's guilty of it. Uh, sometimes they present their own validator node first, and then Kepler displays available validators based on total stake. So they display them largest validators at the top of the list and the smallest validators at the bottom of the list. And unfortunately, delegators often assume that these large validators with all these tokens must be the safest bet. And so they stake with them. And unfortunately, that makes the largest validators larger and keeps the network from decentralizing and getting stronger. And it centralizes the voting power, which is a bad thing. So from the validator selection window, you can either scroll down the list to find us or simply type Blocks United in the search box there at the top of the list. And when our validator profile pops up, simply click on our logo or the name Blocks United. On the next window, click that button that says stake. And then enter the number of atom tokens you would like to stake. And then once again, click stake. A window pops up for you to confirm the transaction. So go ahead and click approve. And you did it. Total piece of cake. Your atom tokens are now staked. You will be taken back to your atom position page. And you'll notice that your atom is staked. You'll see that your available balance has decreased by the amount of tokens that you've staked. And you'll see Blocks United at the bottom of the screen there as your selected validator. Thanks so much for staking with us. This is where it's probably a good time to stop and talk about recording your transactions for tax purposes. If you don't use a tax service, we strongly encourage you to do that, especially if you live in the United States, since you will need to file taxes and your staking rewards are considered income like stock dividends. We tested multiple crypto tax platforms and our favorite by far is Coinly. It uh, is able to automatically import so many Cosmos chains and just makes a chore that can be a real pain in the butt pretty simple. And there is a discount link that we can share with you below. You're absolutely able to use Coinly without paying for it. And then you're asked to pay once you decide to generate a report for taxes. So feel free to test it out and make your decision down the road. If you are already staking Atom tokens with a different validator and you would like to move some Atom tokens over to Blocks United and stake with us, you do not have to unbond or unstake your tokens. You can simply redelegate and it only takes a couple of seconds. We have a tutorial on our blog that we will leave a link to down below. And if you want to learn more about us, our website is blocksunited.com. Kepler is a great wallet. And hopefully you now see how simple it is to stake Atom using Kepler extension. If uh, you got something out of this video and you're watching it on social media, please smash the like or thumbs up, which will have the algorithm show it to more people. Certainly subscribe to our channel if you're watching this on YouTube and absolutely feel free to share it with anyone you think it might help. Thanks so much. We hope you have an absolutely amazing day.